with a free setup could not get it done. Hey, hey, y'all. Let's check out the Mirror Gargan as a kinetic torpedo And build. we are back on the ISS Kano. All right, guys. So this is a kinetic build, but it is, again, 90% what you can either craft for yourself, get from your fleet on the exchange very cheaply, or with those low buy that you got left over. If you wait for a low buy sale, you can get this piece, which is from the lobby store. Okay. So we're going to run down from first to set piece. I think that's the most important part of the build which would be the buy the dark matter quantum torpedo and its console the lower cater at critical chance weapons power and shield penetration don't get too happy it's only between three and five percent of your total damage but the two of them together give me one percent crit severity stacking buff for up to 20 seconds stacks up to 25 times so that's the big set bonus here Neutronic Torpedo is an awesome AoE weapon because it does splash damage to everything around it. The primary target will get 2,469.1 radiation damage. A lot of you are probably sitting there saying, where's the Fecklair engine? The Fecklair engine would boost this and my rifts, but I want to show other gear that you can use to get this done. Next, we have the bio-enhanced molecular photon torpedo. It is the highest and hardest hitting torpedo in the game right now at 13,595 kinetic damage. Um, just awesome. And on high yield, it does this AOE splash and does AOE shield drain on other targets. Okay. And then we have the Gravmetric Photon Torpedo, which off the bat will do 14,181.7. Plus it will cause like this little drain effect when you see it in action. We have the standard colony deflector dish that has not changed hull capacity, control, weapon specialization, more shield penetration, and of course the crit severity and crit chance are based off my hull. Prevailing innovative engines for that boost of speed anytime you use a tactical ability. The Marcelo Harmonic Warp Core with the Tilly Shield. Now since I need no weapon power whatsoever, my weapon my shield power is locked all the way up. All I'm really using is shield power and engine power on this thing. So I do 18% more shield damage because shields are bad. And I get 120% hull regeneration. On the mines, I have, of course, two Thoron infused mines. And from reputation, the modulating competitive mine launcher. These mines, the longer they sit out, gain 5% extra damage, up to 30% of base damage. So I usually launch these first. Kara web mines, of course, for their physical damage, which is 2,582.9 stock. It is boosted off of the Tholian web spinner array console which is from the a couple events ago. If you didn't have a chance to get it, I think they're adding it to one month's market soon if they haven't added it already. It does 22.2% extra physical damage. It does 22.2 Tetrion damage and 28.5 Starship Control. Okay. Now keeping up with the consoles, we have the Covert Mine Launcher. This separates the cooldowns on my mines, so they're not all, you see, cooling down at the same time, even though they are the same kind of mines. 
All right. So it also gives you 35% more mind damage. So it boosts your minds. Very nice console. Then we have the assimilated module from Omega Reputation. We have the Ordnance Accelerator. Again, a 1.5 on shared mind recharge time. I don't know why my mind stop, don't stop going off. It should have done it after the first one. Um, and then I did the shard processing uh, unit here. So as soon as I stop my ship, it gives me hull restoration, 18.5, 18.5 shield capacity. Okay. So it kind of helps out this guy, the bio neural fusion circuit, because you usually get it for its hull capacity, control, and crit severity, which are very nice. Um, but this particular console will heal your hull and your shields and some allies whoever's close to you all right that's a pretty nice thing to have swarmer matrix processor for its plus 50 to projectile weapons and the clicky sends out um five drones five swarmer drones to attack whatever target that you have targeted at that moment I put on here the kinetic tractor beam for hull regeneration, energized hull plating. So yes, I have a lot of hull on this guy. Plus when you hit use the clicky that comes with it, it creates a level 66 Borg generator for 45 seconds, dealing 2,618.8 kinetic damage times three per second. If the target's below 50% hull, will disable targets engines and shields for 30 seconds it's a very nice little add-on um this ship is extremely cheap to put together skill trees has not changed at all i took one point away from energized hull plating okay that was to give me some more control my traits are as follows. Beam barrage. Unconventional systems. Every time I use that tractor beam one, it triggers this unconventional system, which makes uh, all these universal consoles come up more often. Seven targeting system. Off the bat, it gives you crit severity, but it turns crit chance into crit severity. Resonating payload, negative 5% physical and kinetic damage resistance per stack, stacks up to five times against your foes. Most of the time I'm alone, I use innocuous, 5% crit severity, negative 25% threat generation. Okay. Duelist fervor, 5% all damage for 10 seconds. Plus five to accuracy rate. Operative crit chance and crit severity. Self modulating fire, and you can tell or read or see, or I'm, you're going to hear it. Um, it helps your energy weapons and projectiles gain 50% more shield penetration. From your fleet research lab, we have superior projectile training for 7.5% bonus projectile weapons training. Anytime you see that word bonus, that's category two, I believe. I don't think category one even has bonus. Context is for king. When you're not receiving damage, you gain plus three to all damage. No, to all damage resistance. Excuse me, when you are receiving damage. When you're not taking damage, it's 1% bonus all damage. 
that's very nice a good day to die which increases your hull integrity and that just makes my go down fighting a reusable buff okay so I can cool it down quite quickly now this is the only ship that comes out of the lobby store subspatial warheads comes off the Sona battle cruiser and it creates a subspatial rift on use of high yield okay so each rift will follow a target dealing 1695.1 physical damage so again the Tholian console is buffing this that used to say radiation damage for those of you that are saying wait it didn't say that before it didn't they just changed it emergency weapon cycle okay for my fighter cycle haste because I like my torpedoes to come out banging but they will fix this sooner or later so it only affects energy weapons that's what I read on reddit I don't know if it's true or not but for right now it affects all weapons improved critical systems you probably have critical systems improved critical systems is from I can't remember if it was the Delta recruit or it's, it was one of the recruits when you finished it you got improved so you get an extra 3% chance for um, critical hits critical strikes and crit, crit severity intertwine matrices the only reason it's there is to give me that um, Turf spread because you can do this for a torp spread and you see my high yield is just dark but it's not in cooldown so I can do that and that what they took away was the ability to do uh, the intertwine matrix torp spread and then use torp spread too you can't do that anymore but you can combine beam fire at will to give you a torp spread one and still use your torpedo high yield which is pretty nice the next trait rapid emitter armaments comes from the legendary dedera decks it's in the c store so anytime you grab somebody with your tractor beam you shoot out three slow moving high yield red plasma uh torpedoes since I have subspatial warheads, I get the tears and the physical damage. Also, it will proc the unconventional systems. So that one abilities tractor beam one provides immense damage, okay, and cooldown. And as it's cooling down, it's ridiculous how fast this thing is up okay so I use arrest and the reason I use arrest is because I use constable instead of using strategies I'm using command officer instead of intelligence also so I do things a little different now arrest will help you out negative 25% recharge time on bridge officer abilities uh, can occur once every 30 seconds so that's like having an, an extra duty officer or something else for your cooldowns so on the space traits we have advanced targeting system for crit severity and enhanced armor penetration for armor which is the hull of the ship I'm using Omega Kinetic Shearing instead of Amplifier for the dot 12.5% of your outgoing damage as a dot that's damage over time for six seconds. Tyler's Duality. You saw how many consoles I have boosting my hull, hull regeneration. It just had to be there. I have so much hull. This, it would be a waste not to use. Um, so basically your damage output your critical chance based off of your hull capacity so that's really nice and then we have 
torpedo pre-fire sequence, which is 15.6% bonus torpedo damage. Again, that's bonus. That's category two. And 41.3 destructible torpedo flight speed. This 41.3 additional flight speed, you're going to see it applied to your high yields. I'm not sure if that's your... Well, here says such as hard yield plasma torpedoes so any destructible or any high yield torpedo will gain this flight speed okay my stations i have a science officer here with the tractor beam one i'm using concentrate firepower two and call emergency artillery one beam fire at will one Torp spread 2, attack pattern beta 2, dispersal pattern beta 3, which is my mind. High yield 2, and chemo site least weaponry. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I know people argue over it, but the chemo site does stick to your minds. Engineering team 1, aux to battery 1, aux to battery 2. And a hazard emitter. I have nothing to heal my shield. And it doesn't affect me at all. You will see it in the run. And don't forget to check out the affiliate links that are down below. I'll put a little commercial up. But basically they're all links to save you money. And get you cash back. Alright guys. Enjoy the run. And yeah. If you want to keep seeing affordable videos like this, let me know in the comments. Peace. All right, 145K, almost 146 on the board for the first run on a free-to-play uh, setup. Not bad. Enjoy the run. Well, all right. So before you leave, I want to let you know about Rakuten.
I have $463 of cash back I've already gotten. They're sending me my next check for $80.15. They send out these checks two and three times a year. Um, if you don't see on the splash page the store you want to go to, just type in the name in the search bar. It will let you know if there's cash back or not. Um, those $80 and change I'm getting back is just basically me shopping at Walmart, getting paper towels, kitty litter, stuff like that. And it'll tell you when it's active. It's never less than 1% and it's never more than 15% of your purchase that you'll get back cash back. Now, if you're on a website that does not give you cash back, then join Honey. Honey will run is another browser extension and it will run through every coupon code to see if you have a coupon for that website. So getting money back for buying things like sugar, coffee, rice, beans, condiments that you would buy normally is really nice. There are affiliate links below and check them out. Save yourself some money and support the channel at the same time. And if you don't have a cashback card, I've put in a link for the Quicksilver cashback card. It's another affiliate link. It will help the channel out. And basically what it does is when you're at checkout at Walmart, you pay with a cashback card. So whatever you get from Rakuten, whether it be 1% to 15% back, you will get the additional whatever your card gives you, which is usually between 1% and 5% back cash back. So if you want to save money, this is the way to go. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. If you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button, leave a like, and a constructive comment down below, and we'll get it on. Peace out. Thanks for being here.